Today we're going to be checking out this Neurom webcam called the C46 conference cam. Full disclosure, Neurom did send this over for me to review, but with that being said, I will still give an honest opinion on what I think about this conference cam. So what was included in the packaging was of course the conference cam, a power adapter that powers the webcam, a piece that attaches to the power adapter, and this is going to be a United States based connection, a USB-A to USB-C cable connector, which sends the video signal through the cable, a remote that lets you control the webcam, batteries not included, the instruction manual, which has some pretty useful information on it on how to use the product and we'll be covering some of these features. And then last but not least, a warranty card. So my first impressions with this conference camera is its size. It's gonna be pretty large as you can tell by the size of my head versus the camera. It's gonna be taller than my head. And this thing is gonna be neat to place in a very safe environment. You don't wanna accidentally have someone walk by and hit this thing and it fall over. Build quality wise, this thing looks really sturdy. I love this plastic finish. It has like this kind of brownish, coffee-ish color. Really digging that. And the speaker has this nice cloth around it, which really makes it feel premium. On the bottom, we're gonna have large grips that are gonna help prevent the camera from falling, as well as a three millimeter bolt jack if you wanna mount this on like a tripod or some sort of mount. And then on the top over here, we can see that there are gonna be four controls that let us control the camera by hand. And there's gonna be a mute button, a volume down and a volume up, as well as a mode switch button that changes the camera angles to function via AI. And on the bottom here, you can see that it's pretty simple to plug in. You just push it right in. And then you can see there's also a channel here for the cable to run out from under the conference camera. And then on the other side of the power cable, we're gonna have a USB-C port just like that. It plugs in and then we also run the USB-C cable from this channel to let the cables run from under the webcam. You can see that the cables are not interfering with the balance of the conference cam. So we just powered the camera on and there's a nice cool little blue light that lit up over here. And then the light will change colors depending on whether it's muted or not. So here blue means it's on. If I press the mute button, you can see that it turns red and sends out a little volume signal. So we have the camera plugged in and we're gonna hop on the computer and this is what the quality looks like. So here's the quality of the webcam and this is gonna be recording in 4K at 30 FPS. And overall, I think it looks really crispy. Just checking out the quality on my screen over there looks very well lit. For a conference camera, I would say this is definitely really well. And if you had multiple faces in the shot, it would start to change the angle and zoom in and out and really kind of create a good conferencing experience with multiple people. So this is gonna be a great conferencing camera if you're looking for something with nice, crispy video quality. With that being said, if you're interested in learning more about this product, I'm gonna leave links down in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, peace.